Hey everybody and welcome to this unboxing video. Um, today we're going to be unboxing the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection. This is pretty cool as uh, this is kind of a nostalgic trip for me. Um, this package includes uh, six of the original um, booster packs, which was the packs that they sold when I was uh, pretty young. Um, and they also include the god cards and the three original monsters. It's too bad they don't include in Relinquished in there because uh, I do feel like he's the original villain, but it's too bad they didn't include that. But they included some really cool stuff. Um, I just got this delivered, and I know it's been a while since I've done any Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxings. Um, this is mostly a nostalgia trip for me, but uh, it's really exciting to get this because uh, I get to relive some of my 12-year-old uh, uh, fantasies, or my 12-year-old pleasures, I should say, um, of unboxing these. So let's, uh, let's unbox this. I started a little bit and unboxed um, some of uh, the tape from this, so it's not super hard to get out. Um, <clears throat> what's also really cool is I'm doing this on a stand, um, this new stand I got, so it may not be the perfectly positioned, um, but uh, I needed to get this stand in order to do this type of video. I'm using my iPhone uh, to do this, but uh, let's open it up. Ooh, very cool. Look at these guys. There's Obelisk. I always, I think I liked him the most. I think his artwork was the coolest. Um, but let's, uh, let's open up these. If I can remember actually how to open these things up. And before I break something or push the camera over. I didn't get my sleeves yet. So I don't have any sleeves for this guy. So that might be sacrilegious. Here's Obelisk, wow. That is so cool, I've never actually held one of these cards. Um, wow, isn't he look, doesn't he look menacing? That's, uh, I really like the original artwork. It has that kind of, um, I don't know, maybe it's nostalgia talking, but it has that nice uh, kind of semi-serious, not too serious feel. Um, I wonder who the original artist was. And there's Slifer. I remember having a friend growing up that really liked Slifer the most. I think he looks pretty cool as well. He was the main character's uh, um, god card. That's what they called these as god cards. Then you got the Wing right, Dragon of Ra. Um, this guy's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, another thing about these is uh, they have the colored of their monster backing. These ones you can't use in a match. But they're really cool because this is the uh, I remember I think this is how they showed in the um the cartoon or the anime. It's so got the three there. And then you got the blue eyes, the dark magician, and the red eyes. So um if my old one I had the original artwork, I like the original better, but this one's not too bad. Um Dark Magician, I like the original one better, but this is pretty cool to have. And I like the I just like the original artworks better. Um this one looks too serious to me. But yeah, that's pretty freaking cool that you get the god cards and then the three original cards um, all in one package. This was like 50 bucks um, American. Um, I am Canadian, so it costs a little bit more. And then you got the original Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and Pharaoh Servant. Metal Raiders and Dark Crisis. And looks like these are the reprinted ones, so these aren't from back in 2002. Spell Ruler. It used to be called Magic Ruler. I'm sure a lot of people know that already. Um, what's really cool is uh, the Blue Eyes one. I actually got the Exodia piece, which was, um, if you're unfamiliar, is if you get all five pieces, you win the, the game automatically. And he was by far the best uh, monster um, in the anime because he destroyed... The triple-headed blue eyes in the cartoon. Um, but let's start with Spell Ruler. I'm kind of hoping to get something uh, legit. This is really cool. I have not done this in, like, forever. Ready? Oh, my God. It's a bunch of... I think it's serotonin or dopamine. Went right to my head. That is so cool. I just hope I pull something cool. Gravekeeper Servant. Oh, so each one of these packs includes either a, a, a silver text rare or a, a shiny card like the uh, 
like these guys, the foils. Um, but it's rare, right? All right, so Gravekeeper Servant. Unless your opponent sends one card to the top, top of his deck or deck, she cannot declare an attack. Oh, seems like a very situational card. I shouldn't put him out there, so maybe I'll just put this one right here. Uh, commencement Dance. Oh, she's pretty hot. Um, this card is used to Ritual Summon Performance of the Sword. You must... Oh, this is a Ritual card. Okay, so you need this to in order to summon one of the... One of these guys, kind of. Hungry Burger. Someone was uh, pissing away doing this. But we need to invent a card. We're going to make a burger that has teeth. Um, this is scary though, the Americans. Um, this monster cannot... Oh, this is like a monster for the other card, a ritual monster. Uh, it's not really that good, I don't think. Ooh, we got a shiny. We got a shiny. <laughs> Delinquent duo. Uh, focus camera, focus. There we go. Pay 1,000 life points. Your opponent randomly selects one and discards one card from her hand and... Sl and then selects and discards another from his or her hand. Oh, wow. So you can sacrifice some health points to make people throw away their cards. I mean, that's all right, I guess. Ooh, I got a rare, too. That's cool. I'll put this one over there. Shining Angel. So, yeah, the silver text. Um, when this card is sent to the graveyard as a result of battle, you can summon one light monster with attack of 1,500 or less. Uh, that's all right. Maybe there's more strategy to it, but if it could summon something like a 3,000 card, then you can get the blue eyes in there. Uh, Jigen Bakudan. This is a old card, too. This is what uh, Pegasus used in, in the show against uh, Yugi. Um, I don't think it's the same, but uh, all monsters, and it's like damage equal to half of them, just throwing on just to your opponent. That's actually pretty fucking gnarly if you want to self-sacrifice your monsters to kill somebody. Firecrack, and that's pretty cool. That's cool artwork. I like that. Taylor of the Fickle. Select one equipped card and switch to another. Select one equipped, equipped, equip card and switch it to another correct target. I, I don't really understand that one. I have to read it better. Um, Twin Long Rods number two. So this is pretty, pretty freaky looking. Wouldn't want to wake up and see that. Or you're washing your face and you see that behind you. Fuck, that leave nightmares. It's more scary than the it. Oh, slam. All right, let's do Invasion of Chaos. This is pretty cool. Oh, I already broke it. Oh, my God. I like that. It's too bad these things are, they don't reprint these anymore. Or at least I can't find them getting reprinted for cheap. Uh, Gigantus. Ooh, he's pretty good. 1900 attack for a four-star monster. Um, you can uh, summon this guy without sacrificing anybody. Four stars or lower can do that. If it's five stars, you have to five or six. You have to sacrifice one monster to summon him. If it's seven and higher, it's, I believe it's two. Um, this card cannot be normal summon or set, huh? This card can only be special summoned by removing an earth monster to, in your graveyard. And this card is destroyed by balance at the graveyard of Charles. Oh, that's actually pretty freaking good. It's a pretty good card. So if you have a, a earth monster already in the graveyard, you can summon him. And then when he dies, he destroys all the players. Is it all the... Oh, all the strap cards there. Another self-sacrifice monster. Put him over here. Jade Insect Whistle. Your opponent selects one insect type monster in their deck after shuffling dead plays a tarp on top of the deck okay that could be a good i'm finding you know a moth card or something chaos sorcerer i i think i should just not read some of these i maybe do that all the time because i'm sure a lot of people already know what this one is but this is a uh six star monster so you have to sacrifice one monster um this thing looks pretty situational doesn't look very useful. Oh, got a rare Robin Zombie. Um, that's pretty cool. I'll put the rare over there, too. Oh, I didn't put the rare over there. I'll just put it back. 
Um, sacred crane, fill feed, self destruct button, and Lord poison. Wow. Come on, man. Give me some. Give me some goodies. Dark Crisis. There's the Exodia, but that's I guess the undead version, the Necros version. I think they call it. So let's open up another one. Oh, that feels so good opening. Shooting Star Boom Cell. The nice panda. He looks really friendly. Aw, he got the complete opposites. <laughs> this card's sent to grab. I want to add it to your hand. Okay, well, it seems pretty useless. I mean, this isn't really a monster, I don't think. Uh, Kelbic. It looks like a Pegasus card with that little eye. Guardian Tice, another rare. God damn it. I want, I, want a, I want a flashy card. It's pretty cool. Twin Swords, a flashing like Trice. Oh, it must be related, maybe. Huh. Pretty cool, pretty cool. These cards are so small. No, our metal writers. There's the uh, black eyes, uh, black skull, dra black skull dragon. I think that's pretty cool. Now, wouldn't that be insane pulling him? I would literally lose my shit. Oh, well, I just destroyed this pack. Everyone's probably watching me like, damn, damn it, dude, open the packs. I'm like, okay, it's been like 20 years since I've done this. Okay. Lava battle guard. Oh, cool. That's a uh, Joey monster. Ooh, that looks... Oh, I like the artwork. It's cool. Block attack. Mushroom man. That's what a lot of kids call themselves nowadays. Mushroom man. Elegant egotist. Harpy lady card. It's a rare. Arm lizard. Another Joey card. Stim pack. It's like me and not Coca-Cola. Don't tell my girlfriend about that. Winged, uh, that's a Yugi card. And then Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. That's cool. That's a cool card. That's uh, one uh, villain from the first TV show. <clears throat> All right. And then there's my favorite card. Well, one of my favorites in the back. We'll do this one last because that one's kind of... Um, you got the Thousand Eyes Restrict. Come on, foil, please. Harpy's brother. So in case you, the family just didn't have all girls, we got a brother in there. Um, attack and receive. Mr. Volcano. No, nice. Fiend Mega Cyber Super Hollow. That's cool. Look at his face. I didn't realize he had a face. I always thought... Um, this part was his face, but there's his face in there. It looks like a transformer. That's fucking cool. You can special summon this card from your hand if your opponent has at least two more monsters on the field. Well, that's pretty cool. Ooh, and we get a rare too. Cool. Fiend Mega Cyber. Nice. At least two. That's pretty good. Oh, there's Thousand Eyes Idol. That's, I like this card. This one's a Pegasus card. That is nice to find. That's really cool. So that's a pretty cool. Holy crap. Okay, so we pulled some two freaking rare ones. Or super rare ones. Alright, please. Come on. You can do it. Man eater. Before Nelly Furtado came into business. Hindotama. Like 500 damage. That was a pretty straightforward spell. Two mouth dark ruler. Pretty cool. Ooh, shiny trap hole. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> and spirit of the harp. Rare. That is cool. Well, three hollows. Can't be can't be too upset. Of course, they're not the ones I wanted, but still, they're pretty cool. Two thousand defense on that one. Wow. That is amazing. That is a very cool set. Wow, so we, uh, there's really, I don't think there's anything behind her. Oh, yeah, there is. 
It's the game board. I forgot about it. And before I knock everything over. So here is the game board. So this is what you play on. Oh, you got all the special monsters on it. I can't really show it all that well. So this is where you play all your cards. Oh, and here's the reverse side of it. So you got the main characters from the show. That is pretty neat. And it folds up quite nicely too. So sick, cool. So I can't be too upset about that because we got three freaking shinies. So 50% of our cards were, we got two uh, really rare ones and then a, uh, a foil. But yeah, that has been really cool. So we got these guys, these guys all in one. And of course we got the, the God cards. That is really cool. I'll have to do some more of these sometime. It's really cool to get all these packs. Um, but yeah, um, I should probably set these right there. But uh, yeah, thanks for everybody for watching. These, uh, this has been a Yu-Gi-Oh unboxing. It's really cool. Um, definitely a kind of nostalgia trip. Um, there's a sixth pack somewhere. Oh, I think it's the one I destroyed. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, maybe next time I'll do another one of these. These are pretty exciting. But uh, yeah, it's been an unboxing of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection. And I gotta say, for 50 bucks, it is a pretty good deal, considering some of these packs are still worth like 20 bucks a piece, which is pretty nuts. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys in the uh, next video.